We gotta do one of these intro things. Can you can you do one of these intro things for me? I, I don't really know how to do it. All right, so we got to run by Bass Pro real quick, <clears throat> pick up a few things. What we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to find some easy to fish techniques. We're gonna play around with some different types of worms to drag around, Texas rig, all that different stuff. We're gonna give it a shot, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's kind of pretty cool, and I like that they hold it. I know this is like the first one, so we're just gonna play with it. And it's gonna be super rough. I'd say we have no clue what we're doing. That's not completely true. We have very little clue what we're doing. That's an accurate statement. What do you think? I like it. It's a pretty cool of a day and I like how it is. Okay, alright. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, I guess the voice control works. What do you think? I like it. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, I do have to say, we just got back out of the store. Did you get to see all your fishies? No, not the big alligator, but I did not see any. Okay, well maybe next time. I have to say, one of the things I hate is those big b bait bins. You know, they use the little pond hopper boats and they uh, they just put all the, they just put a bunch of bait in there. I can't, I, I don't have 20 minutes to dig around and look for something. This one in particular, is the Guggen blazing worm. So you just drag it around, Texas rig it, over the rocks, through the weeds, all that good stuff. Uh, that that tail has a, uh, oh, it's our Texas tornado test. Anywho, I hate those bait boats. It takes too long to find stuff. We'll catch it over at the pond, see how it goes. just focus on a couple things uh, got that underspin if you're following me on Instagram my chaotic fishing you've already seen this thing is whacking them right now, them right now. Uh, got the little two and a half inch whale on there that thing is seen some things man that little dude's been through battle and uh, is still busting it so this is the which underspin is this this is the owner underspin and it's got the little lead keel weight there the thing is all beat up from banging off rocks but you know they seem to like it <clears throat> banging it off rocks makes uh just enough noise to get their attention uh, the other thing we're going to do today is we got to try to figure some things out and uh i just got a little screw lock there got a weight pegged i think that's a one eighth ounce little chunk some of the bobber stop but uh, I've got a screw lock. This isn't really uh, like an EWG worm hook, but I've caught fish on it. I was banging them out last night. So then for the last one, we're gonna have some fun with this one. So this is a little plug, little crank that I found and cleaned up. It's got a good size to it. So we can hook it pretty far. We're just gonna see, uh, but the hooks were trash. So. One of the things that we picked up for that dude today is these guys. Some Berkley Fusion hooks. I got a size two with a uh, feather on it for the back. Got a size four, so a little bit smaller, uh, with nothing on it for the front. And the thought process there is that, you know, if they do hit it from the back, obviously they're gonna attach to it, but uh, if it is a smaller fish, trying to get a bigger hook and the bigger plug all in their mouth, who knows? Gonna try to make it a little easier for them. Uh, these fusion hooks seem to seem to do pretty well. I've had good luck with them, so we're gonna throw those on and uh, throw a blazing worm on here. That hook tail that it has on it works pretty good, and we'll see you down at the water. 
All right, so new little section of the pond that I've not fished before. We'll see what happens. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is drag this little thing around. Want to find out, like, is it grassy? Is it rocky? What is it? And uh, it's not gonna walk right up to the water's edge because if there's fish right here, then uh, you know they'll probably chase them away. And I'd like to not do that. So we'll see what happens. like some twigs and stuff over there. All right, we can't try a new spot without trying all three baits, right? We drug the worm, found out what the bottom looks like, we played with a big bait, and now we got to throw a flashy swimmer because well, because flashy swimmer. So. Oh, and this is on that uh, MF rod, the 72 medium heavy mod bass, and uh, yeah, I dig it. Boy, they're jumping on that other side. We may have to go check that out. Well, I didn't realize that, but I lost my tail. So, the nice thing about a screw lock is that I can change this off real quick. Conveniently got a couple of these guys loaded up in the back pocket. Hey Caden, you want to fish? Tell me, is that a catfish? No. No. But can you bring it up here? Can I bring it up there? Yeah. I can. There you go. Got us a nice uh lunchtime bass. Lunchtime bass, that's right, yeah. Look at he got belly on him too. Look at <laughs> Let's see if we can uh Oh where does he have a red dot? Where does he have a red dot? On Ooh, his big cheek. On his cheek? Yeah. Man, the... you know what? Probably you know, Daddy doesn't catch the smartest fish, right? Hi. I catch some of the dummies. And, uh, you know, he's probably kind of a dummy, Caden. And, uh, this probably isn't the first. I'm going to hug that way. No, I'm trying to. That's why I'm using the pliers. So I can try to be a little gentle with him. There we go. I can twist it out, get the barb off. Still got my worm. Yeah, but so that's neat. Hot. Yeah. See? They have these ouchy that look red on them. Where? See it? Right in the line of them. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I know. Pretty I fish, know. but look at that. Yeah. Woo, you eating good? He has the red dot on it. You want to touch his tongue? No. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to let him swim away then. You ready? Yep, do a big splash. A big splash? Get no. Get big like a donkey fish. <laughs> Get big like, big like a donkey. donkey. We're just gonna. The ball is on bass. Go on. There he goes. Is that a good lunch on bass? Yeah. Is it getting warm? Do we have to get back? Well, <clears throat> this sort of stuff right here, probably why I'll turn it over because it doesn't matter the brand, but you know, pick, like, I can't blame this on people fishing, but I mean, that obviously is from them. So, Bubba will take some of this trash back because. We gotta leave it better than we found it. Did we start recording again? Yeah. Nice. Cause I said that. Oh good. Thank you, bud. You're welcome. Maybe I can catch another fish for you. Yep. 
you see the pool tip all the way to the water point there? Yeah. Or something like that. You have to reel it in fast before the fish gets off. Okay. 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 Nope, I'm just going to give you a lot more tries. A lot more tries? Yeah. Oh, look at the jump right there. Whoa. Dang. That was cool. You don't need a cooler? No. As much as I want to grab some more fish, uh, unfortunately, the battery life on this thing is a lot less than I uh, originally imagined. So, um, yeah, dragging around a little blazing worm, felt muddy bottom, and then all of a sudden, pulled in over. So, there's a fish, lunchtime bass. I'm gonna get this little dude back in the car. It's kind of warm. I'm down to like 8% battery. I feel like I just got here. This GoPro is like, told me it's too hot to man camera too hot hey just in case i don't get to say bye i appreciate y'all joining in today only fish we got here on lunch was on a little blazing worm unfortunately uh battery's down to red and um this will probably shut off so uh with that Caden, you tell them have a great day have a great day actually what kind of days do we have what are the only kind of days we have great days on all right y'all stay rad i'm gonna finish it out with some fishing and I'm sure this thing's about to shut off, so we'll do that. And uh, you know, if I can find a dummy, then then uh, then we'll catch one. And if not, hit the like button. Let me know what you like fishing, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Love to have you on board. That's good. That's pretty nice. We'll see. Yep. It keeps turning off. All right, we're officially down to one percent. He wants to throw some rocks, so we're gonna throw some rocks. And if you're still with us, pretty rad. Yeah, that's probably not mommy approved for little dude to go down. Uh, but if you're still with us, I appreciate it. <laughs>